Hey guys, so if you're watching my last video, I was pretty much, I got the new blower, but then the oil, oil in and oil out inlets and outlets were pretty much in the wrong position. So I didn't really knew, know if that was a defect or not, but I went ahead and messaged Skunk2 or Craftworks. And they uh, said that this, pretty much this Rotrex needs to be clogged. And uh, they actually sent me the instructions. Now, I, I'm not sure why I got the pretty much a weird one. Everyone I've talked to, they've never really had to do this with their Rotrex blowers. In fact, on the instructions they sent me, it said that, you know, this unit should already be, you know, clocked correctly from uh, Craftworks. But it, w it wasn't. But uh, it's no big deal. It's just a little more work. But yeah. So pretty much I'm going to show you guys how to clock it. I've actually already done it, but it's not that hard. So, to clock your Rotrex unit, if you're looking at the blower like this, you know, with the big square piece on the bottom and the oil in and oil out on top, there's going to be two, you know, Allen key bolts on the left and right side. And there should be the only one. They take a 5mm Allen key. And what you need to do is rotate it a couple turns and then switch, rotate a couple turns, switch back, rotate a couple turns, and then switch again. And it goes in that pattern. And basically you do that so you don't really damage the compressor housing or the compressor itself or impeller. And what I ended up doing just to be safe was I did about one rotation, switch, one rotation and switch back and forth. And pretty much once you get those bolts off, they're actually not that hard to get off like I thought it would be. You need to rotate. You don't take this off whatsoever at all that will damage it. You rotate it clockwise. And yeah, as you can see, the, oil, it's, the whole unit starts to move. So you rotate it to your desired position. And now uh, whatever you do, just don't rotate backwards because that's pretty much the same thing as, you know, spinning the blower backwards and it would pretty much damage and uh, avoid your warranty. And so, oh, it's actually pretty hard, one hand. So you rotate it until you match whatever position you need for the oil in and oil out to be. And uh, so here it is. I positioned it, positioned it to the correct position I need it to be. Here's the old supercharger. Here's the new one. Or Here's the new one, here's the old one. Pretty much same oil, oil in and oil out. And uh, so to tighten this up, you don't really need threat lock or anything. You just put it in the same holes that you took the bolts out. Of course the bottom half is going to be on a different position now. And so as I was reading, the procedure to re-tighten these is pretty much the exact same as taking them out. And what you need to do basically is each, each side one couple turns at a time. I'm just gonna go with what I did before. Run, well, actually, make sure they're pretty much matched up before you start. And uh, yes, do one rotation at a time. This might be slow, but. I'd rather go through this than have a damage impeller. So that side just got kind of tight, so I'm just not going to tighten it all the way. So it's getting tight. Now let's do it a little slowly.
I'm gonna put the camera down. It's getting pretty hard. Here I am. Pretty much, I just I didn't really I didn't I don't know the torque specs on the bolt the two bolts. I just remember they weren't that tight or they were tight enough. They weren't that tight enough so I could actually remove them by my hand. And so I hand timed them the best I could. And here it is, the old blower, new blower with the correct positions. Pretty much the same as the old one. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.